got a Tremble TSC2 uh, data collector for my GPS rover here. Um, let's just kind of go through a few of the features in there. Uh, rovers are a pretty handy tool to have on site. Check a lot of stuff with them, stake out lines or some stakes, whatever you need to do. Major piles, topo stuff, uh, do all kinds of things with them. But it's already set up, uh, ready to go. I'm going to walk through a few things in here. Um, over here, we got system set up. Set up a base, uh, rover, calibration the site, uh, all that other stuff. We're going to set up a rover, we go in here, and it just got about seven or eight steps you just select OK and tell it which receiver you want to connect to and what network your base is on all that fun stuff um, and you always have to have a work order open I've already got mine opened up here um, but you go in there you can create a new one open one change your design um, complete work order basically you want to complete every work order you do it saves all the information you've collected all the points you shot, um, and then that one allows you to transfer transfer to a computer, or download stuff from the computer to the data collector. Uh, here we got measurements: check surface grade, material thickness, uh, measure a surface. That would be where you do all your topos and stuff. Um, measure site features, real time cut and fill. Here we got uh, our site basically. So here's our cut and fill bar. We'll let us know uh, where we're at, I guess, in relationship to grade. Uh, right now we're sitting on subgrade. The design is set to top of our clay line. This number up here is our rod height. We've got our design elevation, uh, actual elevation, north and easting, those are coordinates where the rover's at. That's basically telling me my GPS accuracy is out of tolerance. Uh, that gives me a view of where my satellites are in relationship to Earth. Um, we're in float, we 10 satellites. That's how, <clears throat> how far off my signal is right now. So it's not tight enough to do anything with. going to come back in in a little bit. But over here we got this key with the four arrows on it will zoom to our whole site. Um, we've got a plus and minus magnifying glass here, we can zoom in and out. With that arrow. We'll bring us over to that bar. The same zoom, uh, this one with the square in it. to drag a box and zoom to that size. This one with the little guy in it will zoom us to the center of the screen. Click on the hand and drag your design around wherever you need to. Uh, right now it's set to stake surface points. Click on that. Uh, we can do brake lines. Boundaries, you'd want to use that if you're doing a stockpile or something. You'd want to put a boundary around the toe, or the bottom of the pile. Uh, do an outer boundary of a surface. Like if we were going to measure the floor here or something, we'd go around the toe and then take some shots in between to get a surface built. This blue trim will key up here. 
We can get our work order instructions, um, all kinds of stuff in there. And select a line we want to follow, um, offset or design surface, all kinds of stuff in there. Back out here we can go stake out. We can stake points, lines, uh, slopes and catch points, planes, surfaces, and uh, enter, edit, stake out points we've already recorded or put new ones in. Um, if you want to stake a line, bring us to this screen, and we can select. Right now, this toe line selected, but we can select any line we want to. And then uh, just hit next. Give us these options what we want to do. Um, we'll just go with from design surface that line. Gonna let us offset our surface however much we want to above or below grade. We'll just leave it at zero. We'll let us uh, pick our station, uh, whichever way the arrows were going on that would be the start at zero and then the arrows would point away from zero. We'll leave that there. Um, leave our offsets at zero. Okay. Alright, and now it's telling us that we're 13 feet <coughs> away from that line. And we've got a fill of 284 to 6, 85, it just bounces around, but, and then we're also, on this number, we're 354.634 feet from the start of that line. Change some stuff in here too. Stake at fixed intervals or choose a random point. Uh, if we go to fixed intervals, we can select uh, what station we want to go to, and it'll give us a reading of how far we are from that point. Escape uh, back out of there. slow this morning. That button gives us all of our options to change stuff in there. Also these arrows over here on the side will give us a cut and fill light bar. Be blue there. Green on that one, and then if we have cut, these would be red up here, and this would also be red. And we can stake a point. It'll record the elevation and coordinates there. Basically, all the same features in the rest of them, you're just staking different things. Uh, volume and Kogo, I'm haven't ever used anything in there. I'm not real familiar with what's in it. Um, I know you can go in after you've done a topo, you can come in here. Or you can measure uh, Like say I wanted to know the distance around the outside of this square here, I would select this box and I would just uh, stake this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner and then back over here and close it. It would tell me the distance around the outside of that box. distance of lines, or actually, that would be around there, this one would be, yeah, 
Now this one would allow us to compute the area of that box, shoot the four corners, it would give us a square footage or whatever uh, unit you're set to to the inside of that square there. That's about all I've ever used in there. I don't know what the rest of that stuff does. Uh, settings. Switch your units. Um, all kinds of stuff in there. Again, not real familiar with the stuff in that one. That's most of the basic stuff. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that I know nothing about. Um, fairly new to this rover and data collector stuff. But uh, yeah, there's a rover. Receiver head out right there on the rod. Mount to the side of the rod. So you got it held on there. But... Yep, that's it.